Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Studio Day Heffrey. If you're wondering, yes, this is what I look like when I wake up. This is my hair. Today, we're going to do something called What's on Jeff's Bookshelf? Because I had multiple people ask, can we go through the bookshelf and create the bookshelf big board? And I thought to myself, yes, we can. But I don't have a plan here, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to turn around, see what's on the bookshelf. Maybe I can take this mic out of here. Kind of carry this with me. See if I don't knock anything else over. Let's see what's on the bookshelf, okay? You will find um, some very some very popular items on the bookshelf, including right here. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Yes, these are the Game of Thrones books. Yes, at least three of them. I don't know where all my books end up. I do lose books. I have no clue where a lot of them end up. But Game of Thrones definitely makes the bookshelf because it's one of my favorite series of all time. Probably my favorite, matter of fact. And I'm still looking forward to the, uh, to the end of the series and the books. I refuse to accept what happened on HBO. I refuse. Too many characters. They wouldn't do those things. They wouldn't do those things that you had them do there, uh, Mr. HBO people. So you have your Game of Thrones books there. Right here is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which... I did not like as much as most people. It was highly recommended to me. And it was okay, but I kind of petered out on it. Never even finished it. And I finished most books. Over here, we have The Hunger Games. I do like The Hunger Games. It may say that I'm a sick person. Um, My favorite Hunger Games were the ones where they were actually in the arena, having to handle up and try to kill everyone to try to survive and get home. And it's good because... A lot of the people that they put in the arena, they built up as bad characters. So it was okay to cheer for their deaths. And then when a nice person died, you're like, oh, man, this is so sad. I really hope they avenge that. I didn't like the Hunger Games as they got out of the arena and got into trying to save the actual world. So Hunger Games is here, but I didn't like the whole series. There's Mocking Jay right there. The Harry Bosch novels by Michael Connolly. Once again, not my favorite detective series. But the Bosch novels are solid. They're solid. Sometimes when I'm reading, I prefer the uh, the mindless and qu- quicker to the action. And Bosch's can be a little more drawn out. I like, uh, I, you know what? Matter of fact, let me just show you. My favorite writer of detective novels is John Sanford. There's some John Sanford up here. John Sanford, this one's called Storm Prey. The Prey series. The Prey series is about a detective named Lucas Davenport. He's like a billionaire, but he accidentally got rich creating computer simulations and games. And he's a guy who will tend to um, he'll tend to shoot the bad guy. He'll do that. Uh, but best part about the John Sanford series of Lucas Davenport is that. It introduced a new character into his series named Virgil Flowers, and then Virgil Flowers got his own spinoff series, also by John Sanford, of course. And so, like, some of these Rough Country, that's a Virgil Flowers novel. Bad Blood, that's a Virgil Flowers novel. Virgil Flowers is my favorite detective in a detective series of all time because all he does is he refuses to carry his gun, or he tries really hard not to, and his way of solving crimes is just to go to the town where something terrible has happened and just tell everyone exactly what he's investigating. He just thinks gossip is the best way to get information. And he always has a boat behind him because he just wants to go fishing. And sometimes he wears a cross Canadian ragweed t-shirt. So Virgil Flowers is my favorite detective. Um, what else is on the bookshelf? You guys can't see down here, but there's some random stuff. Like here's a, what's that? It's Ready Player One. I think Ready Player One is freaking awesome. Ready Player Ready Player One is outstanding. Um, here's Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. This book may change the whole course of your life by showing you how to break the worry habit. I liked the book, but I have not broken the worry habit. Oh, let's see what else is in here. Um, oh, here we go. This is in the running for my favorite book of all time. This is The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. 
It has a lot of pages. So if you don't like a lot of pages, this is not for you. It's, it's very Game of Thronesy. Uh, Pillars of the Earth is, but without magic or dragons. So it's historical fiction based in Europe, I believe. And it has a lot to do. You know, how sometimes these historical fictions kind of have a theme that run through them. Um, in Pillars of the Earth, it's sort of about architecture, but it's more about, it's more about, you know, Game of Thrones type stuff, alliances and plotting and murder through the eyes of certain characters inside the book. Pillars of the Earth is awesome. Just know that. I can't get it back in there right now. What else is on the bookshelf? Let's take a gander over on this side. Oh, yeah, up here is Lee Child. That's the Jack Reacher series. I do like the Jack Reacher series. Tom Cruise is Jack Reacher. That was atrocious. I'm stupid. Jack Reacher's like 6'5", 250, and we got a tiny person playing him. I didn't say the M word because I've learned that that is offensive. So I will say Tom Cruise is a dwarf. And he should not have played Jack Reacher. You got some James Patterson in here, Alex Cross. Um, Patterson's good. Patterson's James Patterson's really good because he's super quick. Sometimes you want super quick. Sometimes you don't want super quick. Much like other things in life. Uh, here we go. Scott Lynch here. This is, uh, let me show you this one. The Lies of Locke Lamora. This is, I suppose that would be considered fantasy as well. Uh, it's called the Gentleman Bastard Sequence. It's about a, a group of group of people as they start off as youngsters, but then grow up to be kind of the greatest thieves to ever live. But they have to do more than thieving with the adventures they get themselves into. You know what I'm saying? I like book one the best, book three the second best, and book two is not my favorite because book two is red seas under red skies, and there's just too much going on with boats and nautical words that I don't have a ton of interest in. I do like boats. I want to get a um. I want to get a, um, it's the first time I'll ever forget this word. What's the kind of boat that I like? Pontoon. I want to get a pontoon boat. The baseball chronicle. The baseball dictionary. Oh, here's a couple of good football ones. If you like these. A couple of good football ones. The Essential Smart Football by Chris Brown. Take Your Eye Off the Ball with Pat Kerwin. Football's about more than just watching the football, Okay. Um, oh, 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 let me get this one. Okay. Um, I don't know where the first book of this series ended up. Brandon Sanderson. This is the Mistborn series. It's a fantasy series, of course, and it is one of my favorites. Faux show. Game of Thrones, Mistborn. What are my other favorite fantasy series? Obviously, Harry Potter's great. Um, I don't know right now. I don't know off the top of my head. I like them all. But, yeah, Mistborn. Dude, Mistborn. At the very, very beginning of the first book, you probably won't totally understand how the magic in there works, but once you do, oh, man, it's great. Uh, I Am Pilgrim by Terry. Oh, this is one of my favorite books, too. Dean Koontz, The City. A Young Boy, A Musical Prodigy, Discovering Life's Wonders and Mortal Dangers. Um, Yeah, The City's good. The City's good. I got Tolkien in here, of course. Fellowship of the Ring is down there. This is uh, Ken Follett, World Without End. It's follow-up to uh, Pillars of the Earth. Shout out to Kingsbridge Cathedral. It's great stuff. Eckhart Toll over here. Awakening to your life's purpose. Yeah, got to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's another one I really like. Here's for my mental health people. 10% Happier. It's a good book. It's by Dan Harris. How I Tame the Voice in My Head, Reduced Stress Without Losing My Edge, and Found Self-Help That Actually Works. A True Story. Dan Harris. 10% Happier is good. I'm trying to think if any of my self-help books I would power rank at the very top. Like, which one I would be like, dude, if you don't have time to read anyone else, read this one. 10% Happier would be up there. 10% Happier is a good book. Um, What else is in here? Um... You guys want to see my journal? I won't. You can't see inside my journal. It's private. But this is my journal. It's the Marauder's Map from Harry Potter. That's my journal. I try to journal every day, but I forget sometimes. You feel better after you journal. Get all the poison out, put it on the paper. You can feel better that way. Yeah, so that's that. Um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist. 
It's physics for people in a hurry. You got, um, I'm going to show you one that is definitely not mine, but it's on my bookshelf. How about meta-analysis and combining information in genetics and genomics? This is here because the person who edited it, Rudy Guerra, is really, really smart. But I have not read this one. Perhaps I will. Let me put that one back on the shelf. That might be the only one on the shelf I haven't read yet. Oh, David Baldacci. Where's David Baldacci? I got a lot of David Baldacci books. Uh, David Baldacci's good, too. He's one of the real quick, easy reads. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of thinking. Just can enjoy. Enjoy the ride. So that's my bookshelf. It's most of my bookshelf, anyway. Mm, I miss anything. Patterson, Sanford, Child. Oh, Dan Brown over here. Got some Dan Brown over here. Brissinger. I'm pretty sure that one's about dragons. Uh, yep, Sanford, George R. R. Martin, Jeffrey Deaver's okay, Harry Bosch, Michael Connolly. That's my bookshelf. Uh, if you like fantasy stuff, tell me which ones I should read that I haven't already, and I've probably already read them because I read them all. Um, I was going to do some cowboy stuff this morning too, but I have to record Trust the Tape. Don't have to. I get to record Trust the Tape. So make sure that you find that wherever you find your podcasts. Trust the Tape. It's the best. And uh, I will see you guys on the radio. Do leave in the comments what you want to talk about tomorrow because I accidentally wasted this whole video just looking at my bookshelf. But that happens. Bye. <laughs>